Greetings, everybody. Steady Eddie here. Well, it's coming up to my departure. It's just a few weeks away. Uh, New Year, in fact. And um, I'm, I've got just about everything sorted. Uh, but I have left the health insurance, the all-important issue of health insurance, uh, basically to the last thing, because I, I don't want to make any mistakes. It is such an important issue, uh, getting insurance, uh, you know, for your health before you go abroad. But I've finally done it. I've done a little bit of research and I finally um, booked online for the first year, for the first 12 months of my health insurance. And I've uh, booked it at a very, very reasonable price. And I'm quite happy with what I've got. I, you know, it seems to be okay. Now, I'm using a company that, you know, I have heard of. It's, it's a very, very well-known name. And I feel comfortable with that. The problem with a lot of these uh, health insurance companies is that a lot of them, you know, are a little bit obscure. And when you, and even if they may have good reviews, you dig deep into them and find that they're only maybe five, four or five years old. Well, I don't entirely trust a company that's only four or five years old. Um, whereas the company that I've opted for is a well-known name it's been around for a very very long time and i feel comfortable with a long uh, established name name like that now i cannot reveal the name of the company which i booked my health insurance with um <clears throat> for two reasons really firstly um although you know a lot of the guys who watch these videos in fact almost all of them are really really great and uh, you know uh, you know uh, do need uh, the information and i like to bring you the information the fact is that there's always going to be the occasional idiot out there who wants to create problems and that's why i don't like to give too much of my personal details uh, <coughs> away um, so that's the first reason. And the second reason is, if I was to give you the name of the, uh, of the health insurance company that I'm using, then it would sound like I am endorsing it. I am saying, this is the one I'm going with. And, uh, you know, it sounds like I'm endorsing it. Well, I can't possibly do that because I haven't really used it yet, have I? You know, I've not actually used the company yet and hopefully I never will. So I cannot really tell you which one I'm, I've opted for. Because it would sound like I'm recommending it. And you never know when, you know, the crunch comes, when the time comes, when I develop a serious issue, when I'm abroad, then, you know, it may not live up to expectations. So I've got to say that, you know, I will probably reveal the name of the company that I'm using after I've used it. But for now, anyway, I paid my money. It's for the first 12 months, the whole of 2024, basically, um, that I, <clears throat> I've booked my, ins my insurance with. And it's come out at the very, very reasonable price of 1100 quid. That includes, um, that includes a £55 excess waiver. 1100 quid, what's that in US dollars? Is that about 1400 US dollars, something like that? But 1100 quid for the whole year, I think, is really, really reasonable. It's about 90, 90 something quid for a month. That's very, very reasonable. Now, as for the all important, the all, all, all important issue of pre existing medical conditions. Now, <clears throat> I found this online form uh, to be very, very simple to fill out, quite easy, quite user friendly. But when it came to the questions of do you have any pre-existing medical conditions, I, I ticked yes, I have. And then when it, when it said, uh, <clears throat> you know, what, what pre-existing medical conditions do you have, I put hypertension. High blood pressure, in other, in other words, yes. And uh, it said, you know, have you been taking medication for this? I ticked yes. Also, it mentioned, have you ever taken uh, tablets for cholesterol? I ticked yes. I was 100% on this form accurate, truthful. Absolutely, I've had nothing. High blood pressure is classed as a pre-existing medical condition and you must reveal it. I revealed it. I revealed that I'm taking tablets uh, for high, hypertension, only recently started doing that. Um, also, I take statins for, for cholesterol. I've revealed all that on the form, 
and uh, fine, they, they were quite fine with it. And they've come back with the reasonable price that I've, I've quoted you. You know, 1100 quid for, quid for the for the year. So I was really, really uptight about this pre-existing medical conditions business. Because at the end of the day, you know, you know, high blood pressure, you know, that can lead to whatever. But I, I you know, you can't hide things. You must be truthful on these forms. But having said that, after revealing that, I was expecting the worst. I was expecting an astronomically exorbitant amount of money to pay. But no, I think 1100 quid for the year, um, it, you, know, you know, it includes, you know, about 5 million medical uh, <clears throat> Uh, you know, expenses, that sort of thing. Also, it might make a difference because I'm a non-smoker, remember. Maybe that makes a difference. But, um, yeah, you know, I was able to, I've never ever smoked in my life. But no, any, anyway, I've done my, my insurance. It's all paid for. It's all ticked. It's all valid for the next year. It's with a very, very reputable company online. So what I'm saying is it don't really be put off with, you know, any pre-existing medical conditions like high blood pressure or taking statins, you must, must, must reveal this on the form and, uh, you, you know, and take, uh, you know, you know, photographic evidence of it all because when the time comes that you have a, yeah, you know, you drop down of a heart attack and need to be rushed to the hospital, you, you need to know that you're covered. I actually feel better, a lot better now that I've done that. I really, really do because it was on my mind. I was thinking of, you know, I've heard of people doing self-insuring and they're putting aside of money, you know, a pot of money aside uh, for in case the worst happens. I, I don't want to go down that route personally. I really, really don't because you just never, ever know what's going to happen. Um, and as for, you know, maybe, you know, a reasonable amount of money, if the worst comes to the worst, it won't be a, real, a reasonable amount of money that you're going to be billed for. It'll be an astronomical amount of money. And uh, so I feel a lot more confident now that I've got my travel insurance, my health insurance. Um, it's valid for the year. And at the end of that year, well, I'll cross that bridge when I, co I come to, to it. But um, <clears throat> if ever I have to use the insurance... Then I'll tell you the name of it. But like I say, I can't reveal the name just yet for reasons that I've already uh, mentioned. So anyway, I've waffled on and um, I've got all my stuff sorted for my travel. And, uh, you know, that was the, you know, the final, um, <clears throat> I almost said the final nail in the coffin, didn't I? No, no, not the final nail in the coffin. Hopefully that won't happen just yet. But I've got my health insurance sorted and I've got my bags sorted and my, I haven't packed my bags yet, but, you know, I'll, I'll do that pretty soon. OK, but in the meantime, I'll be back before Christmas with a couple of live streams. So thanks for watching. Uh, keep thinking positive. Peace, love and goodwill to everyone. And I'll see you soon. Cheers.